Once a man was hiking through the jungle, and he met a villager carrying a large sack. When the man asked what was in the sack, he was surprised to see two tiny kittens. The villagers commented that the mother cat had been killed and the kittens had no one to care for them. He gladly sold the kittens to the man to take home as pets. After a few weeks, the man noticed that the kittens' paws were getting quite big. And then the kittens started growing and growing and growing. Soon spots appeared in their fur. The man had adopted two leopards. Knowing he would not be able to keep them safely, the man got permission to send the leopards to a zoo. A couple of years later, the man went to the zoo to see his kittens. When he called out to the grown leopards in the pen, two of them ran over to the fence because they recognized his voice. Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm part of the Global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple, and empower the next generation. This true story teaches us an important lesson. You see, we learn to recognize the voice that speaks to us the most. Our moms and dads, grandparents, siblings, or others who take care of us. And when they speak to us in love, we can learn to respond with trust and obedience. That is exactly why learning about Jesus when we are young is so important to helping us recognize his voice when he speaks to us. So how does God speak to us? God has given us his word. Every time we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. The more we read our Bible, the easier it is to hear God's voice. But sometimes it can still be confusing when we have a choice to make, but we're unsure what God is telling us to do. When I'm trying to decide if I'm hearing God's voice correctly, I've learned to ask myself four questions. These questions also highlight how we apply the truths of God's word to the questions we have about his will. Number one, is there peace? The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Even if the choice you're thinking about seems scary or overwhelming, or maybe even a little weird, ask yourself if your heart feels peace about your choice when you pray. If it does, then go on to the next question. Question two, is your relationship with Jesus pure? The Bible is very clear about what God thinks about sin. James 1, 14 to 15 says, temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions. And when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. If the choice you want to make is one that will lead you into sin, turn away from it immediately. Make the choice that will keep your relationship with Jesus pure, for that is the way, the truth, and the life, which is in John 14, 6. Then proceed to the next question. Number three, is there agreement with your parents or mentors? God does not mean for us to go through life alone. We can go to the godly people that God puts in our lives to help us talk through big decisions. How can we tell whether someone is wise? James 3.13 asks the same question. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Choose one or two wise mentors and ask if they will help you. Tell them the question you have and what you think God might be saying to you. Ask them to pray with you about your decision and to share their thoughts with you. Do they agree with your choice? Is it a pure choice? Do you still have peace about it? Then go to the final question. Number four, is there alignment of circumstances? 
With most big decisions, certain things may need to happen before you can make your choice. Perhaps you need to pass some exams to get into a new school. Or maybe you'll need to meet some new and better friends. As you work on those things, is God providing what you need just when you need it? Are the circumstances lining up to show you the way to the right choice? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 promises us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Just like the leopards recognize their caregiver's voice, we learn to recognize God's voice as we spend more time with him in his word. We can learn to do that regularly with a humble, pure heart, committed to loving him and doing his will. Then, when we have a choice to make, big or little, we can be confident that God will guide us step by step to the right choices when we listen to his voice. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell to alert you when we post a new video. And please share this video with others who would be encouraged by the message. If you would like to translate this video into another language, the video script can be found on www.1for50.net. To access other resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, go to www.1for50.net.